In this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how you can crop an image to a shape using Adobe Illustrator. So the first thing you want to do is just open up your image here with Adobe Illustrator. Just go to File, click on Open, and then you can choose the location of your file on your hard drive and it will open it. As you can see here, I have my photo already open, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to choose the shape that I'd like to use to crop my image. And just for this tutorial, I'm going to use uh, a star as an example. You can use whatever shape you'd like. I'm just going to click and drag to create a star like this. I'm just going to hold shift so it locks it perfectly upright like that. Let me grab the select tool, move this over. I want to place this over the area of the image that I'd like to crop. And to make it easier to place this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the color of it. I'm going to change this to a different color, like maybe something like green. Click OK. And then I'll take the opacity and bring that down a little bit. Just so, just so you can see through the shape so I can see exactly where it's placed relative to the photo. And once I'm happy with the placement of the object over the photo, what I want to do is select the object and then hold shift and select the photo as well. And then go to object, clipping mask, and click on make. And it's going to crop the image to the shape as you can see there. Now what we want to do now is change the document size to match this shape. So let me move this off of the page over here. And let me just bring the page over like this. To do this, I'm just pressing down the space bar and clicking and dragging. I'll move this over here. I want to grab the artboards tool, which is right here. Click on that. And then just click on this shape to create a new artboard around this cropped image. And then I'll click on the original artboard and just press delete on the keyboard to get rid of that. And now I can go back to the select tool. I can move this back over to the center of the, the, uh, the viewfinder here. And now I can go to file and choose export and choose export as. And you can save your newly cropped image using Adobe Illustrator. So if you have any questions, leave a comment below. And as always, thanks for watching.